Hey everybody, right after filming this upcoming video, I uh, realized that our USB code that we had put in there for dealing with the Arduino um, relay accessories seems to be messing up with the USB connection for the CarPlay dongle. So we're going to make a correction for that. So the video that you're going to see is working on a tablet that doesn't have our Brainiac software installed on it. Uh, after we had our software installed, we saw that it was trying to grab that USB port on the actual CarPlay dongle, but the dongle and the app for doing any of that connectivity works really, really well. So we'll get a correction into our software uh, as quickly as we can. Um, but uh, enjoy the next video, taking a look at how to make CarPlay work with your tablet. Hi everybody, Tim from Workshop 12 here, and today we're gonna to take a look at the Apple CarPlay dongle that uh, we picked up. We've had a bunch of people in the community asking about um, you know, can I use my iPhone and stream things to, uh, to the tablet? Um, there's different ways that you can try to do it. So one of the ways that we're going to do here is, is take a look at this dongle. So um, we've got a good old printer here. I had to set this up just the, uh, the other day. Um, we're doing some of our prototype printing in here for some of the plastic housings around the climate control for the FRS and BRZ. Um, so let's go take a look at what we have. Um, so here I've got my, my daughter's iPhone. I'm not an iPhone uh, person, I'm an Android person. So I had to borrow hers for doing some testing. Uh, we buy the dongle, it's a purchase, it comes in this little box. We get some of the different instruction manuals and a download and installation fact. So in here, it actually has a link to be able to download the APK to install onto the tablet. When you buy it online, they also have a link to be able to download and install it. So if you see here, it's actually called AutoKit. Uh, onto the tablet um, and we get the USB dongle here. So the way that I have this set up is I have this uh, Lava Simul Charge USB. This allows me to charge the tablet and also run an accessory at the same time. We have an article posted about how you're able to do that. So here I've got power coming in to power the tablet and here I've got my accessory to the USB uh, dongle. So here we've got our CarLink dongle. I've got my super crazy long cable here for the phone uh, and we will plug it into the phone. That should bring up, so first time, um, First time when this happens, it'll ask you what you want to associate the USB with. Is it to this app or another app? So we associated with this uh, CarPlay app that's on here. Now, as you can see, it's meant to essentially be on a head unit that's oriented this way. Um, so it does do some skewing and different things to be able to make it stretch to the, uh, the screen here. They also have an Android Auto mode on here. I haven't played around with it a whole lot. There's some other apps that I'm probably gonna review for an Android Auto, um, but everything in here works, right? So um, if I wanna use Apple Maps or I've got Spotify, uh, I'm able to go into the different Spotify settings and being able to play those um, through here. So whatever I wanna play, it's just gonna start playing on here through the system. Oh, we got some Michael Jackson on here. Uh, so we can go back to home. Um, we've got all of our settings. So we've got Apple Maps. We've got all of those things all available for us uh, in here inside of the app. Music, anything that we want uh, inside. Uh, YouTube, so usual Apple CarPlay stuff. So you can now have a connection. Yes, it's not a Bluetooth stream. It's an Apple CarPlay stream that comes straight from your device into your uh, into this USB dongle, but you can also do phones as well. So make phone calls from here. So I'm not gonna go into this so it doesn't show my daughter's calling list, um, but we did test this out. It will use the mic of the uh, tablet. So if you do have a USB mic or a mic configured onto your tablet, you should be able to use that with inside the car to be able to do hands-free calling uh, and being able to have, uh, you know, answer any phone calls or anything like that. So. You know, you're able to bring that back down to the application grid. You can always pop back into here, make it one of your quick launch settings, however you want to set those up. So I'm just gonna disconnect the phone here for a second and we'll go back into AutoKit. There are a lot of settings that you can play around with in here as well for you know your system icon that you want. Are you a left or right hand drive? They've got some different advanced settings uh, in here as well, if it goes. 
I was in there before, there we go. Um, you can pick different icons and stuff that you want in here. So uh, here's you got a microphone, is it the car? Where is it coming from? Um, so it's got a few different settings in there. So that's a kind of a quick view of you know, Apple CarPlay working. Yes, it's gonna be a little bit stretched in here in this different view. Uh, I might send them a message to see whether they can make it so that it um, will play better in portrait, but uh, we will see what they say to that. So that's a general overview of the Apple CarPlay dongle, how you can make it work with your iPhone. Um, this is running on our Galaxy Tab A. Um, I haven't tested on the Galaxy Tab 4 yet, but we'll see if it works there as well. Um, but that gives you an overall view. We'll maybe take a look at how some of the Android Auto apps work as well with the system. So thanks a lot for joining and uh, we'll see you again in the next video.